In this lesson, we're going to explore one of the fundamental services of Azure, the Azure App Service. But we won't just talk about it, we're also going to see it in action with a live demo. Let's begin with a quick overview of what Azure App Service is. In a nutshell, Azure App Service is a fully managed platform for building, deploying, and scaling web applications. So whether you're developing in .NET, Java, Node.js, or any other language for that matter, Azure App Service provides an adaptable platform to host your web applications. Before we dive into the demo, let's highlight some key features of Azure App Service that makes it so popular. First is multiple languages. Azure App Service supports multiple programming languages and frameworks. This means that the Azure App Service system or platform is capable of working with a variety of different programming languages like Python, Java, or C Sharp, and frameworks such as .NET, Node.js, or Ruby on Rails. This flexibility allows developers to choose the language and tools that they are most comfortable with. Next is scalability. Azure App Service can easily scale your application up or down based on demand. This does means that you can quickly adjust the resources like server or computing power that your application uses to match the number of users or the workload. If more people are using your application, you can make it use more resources to handle the increased traffic. On the other hand, if the demand decreases, you can reduce the resources to save cost. This flexibility helps ensure that your application runs smoothly and cost effectively. Next is DevOps integration. Azure App Service seamlessly integrates with popular DevOps tools. This does means that your application or system can easily work together with well-known software and practices used in DevOps. This helps teams collaborate more effectively and speed up the development and delivery of software. And we have high availability. Azure App Service offers high availability and automatic load balancing. High availability means it is designed to be accessible almost all the time, reducing downtime. Automatic load balancing evenly distributes the incoming user traffic across multiple servers, ensuring that no single server gets overwhelmed. Now let's get our ends dirty. In this demo, we're going to create a simple web application using Azure App Service. I'm in my Azure portal now, so to create an Azure App Service, I'm going to click on App Service. So this is one way of creating it, by the way. So I'll click on Create. You will notice that we have different options to choose from here, depending on your scenario. We have Web App, which can be used for a wide range of purposes, from simple websites to complex web-based software. Next is Static Web App. The Static Web App is a type of web application that serves pre-rendered fixed content for users. Next is Web App with Database. This type of web applications can provide interactive features, user accounts, and personalized content. And the last one is WordPress on App Service. WordPress is a popular content management software that allows users to create and manage websites and blogs. In this example, we're going to go with Web App. So I'll give that a click. So you know the drill by now. I'm going to select a valid subscription and a resource group. If you don't have one, you can create one yourself. How about I choose AKS here? Give your app service a name. So I'm just going to call this Kazim123. And how do you plan to publish? Is it via code, Docker container, or static web app. Code typically means deploying your web application by directly uploading and running your source code. Source code such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript on a web browser. For Docker container, deploying your web app as a Docker container means packaging your application and its dependencies into a container image, which can then be easily run in any environment that supports Docker. And for static web app, it is a type of web application that consists of static files like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. 
This type of applications does not require server-side processing. So I'm going to maintain the default here, which is code. Next, I'll need to choose my run stack. How about we go with .NET here? So I'll choose .NET 7. Feel free to choose an operating system of choice here, whether you want to run it on Linux or you want to run it on Windows. I'll maintain Windows. Choose a region closest to you. And next is your app service pricing plan. App service plan in Azure is critical component for configuring and managing the hosting environment for your web applications. It allows you to control things like your region, your resources, and scaling options to meet your application's demand. And the last option we have here, though in this case it is grayed out, is called zone redundancy. Zone redundancy in Azure App Service is a valuable option to consider when you need to ensure the high availability and reliability of your web applications. By spreading them across multiple independent availability zones within a single Azure region, in this example, we won't need to worry about redundancy. So we'll leave it as it is. So now we have everything that we need to create this web application. For now, let's not worry about the other tab. So we're going to go ahead and click on review plus create. I'll click on create. And that is it. We've created a web app using Azure App Service. If you'd like to explore it further, you can click on go to resource. And this is the URL of my web app. I can copy that and paste it in a new tab. And this is what my web application looks like. And at any time, if you need to connect to this web app to upload your own personal files, you can do so using any of your favorite FTP tools like WinSCP, FileZilla, and others. And there are other tasks that you can perform, tasks such as changing the domain to a more friendly name. So you do that by clicking on custom domains here. If your web application is getting a lot of traffic and you need to increase the bandwidth so you can scale things up and you can scale things out. Scaling up means increasing things like your memory, your CPU power. And scaling out means adding additional servers to your server. Keep in mind that Azure App Service offers many advanced features and integration that can enhance your web application deployment. See you in the next lesson.